Fabulous Fabulous So, in today's fabulous tutorial, it's the video you've all been waiting for, boo-boos. This is the day that we are going to be putting that Thanksgiving dinner table together so that we can have a sneak peek on what that table is going to be looking like. And we're going to go ahead and use some of these leftover little flower picks that we have from when we made our reef. If you guys haven't seen that one, you guys definitely check out that video. And we also use some of this little stuff to also make our little um, kind of centerpiece on our table, which was that little lantern. Also, also a previous video. And if you guys haven't seen that one, definitely, definitely check that one out as well. You guys will not be disappointed. So we'll, we're going to be using some of these and we are also going to be using a pack of these little leaves that we picked up from Z Michaels. And we're going to go ahead and put it all together. Now, just so you guys know, we're not actually going to put these flowers on a base. We are not going to put anything to be a permanent arrangement. That's not what I'm trying to do here. What I am going to do is I'm going to gather all of these things to make a flower arrangement in the middle of our table, but nothing's going to be attached. We are just going to place them in the little areas where we want them to be. And that right there, guys, will be so that I can go ahead and remove this for dinner time and I could just go ahead and put these away and use them for another project later on if I want to go ahead and change that up. That's also so that you guys don't have the same old arrangement every year and stuff like that. So I didn't want to make this a permanent, permanent little, um, what did I do with my, oh, I don't know what I did with that. So I made some little vines. Give me one second. Did I? Oh, yeah. So they're right here. So also, too, we made some of these little vines. And I didn't videotape myself making these vines. But I'm going to go ahead and explain how we did this to you right here, guys. So we went ahead and... Sorry, my big head's in the way. But we went ahead and we got the David Tatera's leaf. Like this. We cut out a bunch of leaves. A bunch of these. As many as you think you're going to need to make this little vine. And then we went ahead and we cut all the leaves off. We shaped them so that they're kind of like, like this. To make them look like a leaf. And then what I did was I got some jute twine. And I just hot glued it all along to make this little vine. Now I know that this looks pretty funny and you guys are probably like, okay, well, what is he gonna do with that? What we're going to do is we're gonna go ahead and interweave this in between the flowers just to give it a little bit of a greenery and a little bit of a different kind of a texture to this little flower arrangement that we're going to be doing for the middle of our table. I don't know if this is going to work out, guys. We're going to find out right now on this tutorial together, <laughs> togetherness. And um, so let's just see how this turns out. We're going to go ahead and head downstairs to our dining table. And I will see you guys there. All righty then, my little crafty monsters. Let's make this tablescape right here. So this is my dining room table. It sits eight people. And that's the reason why I've only invited eight people to my Thanksgiving dinner because I wanted everybody to be comfortable and I also wanted it to be kind of like a little intimate setting so um, we're gonna only have eight people so we're gonna go ahead and do eight plate settings and you know for the eight chairs this is a little burlap runner that I made myself I just went and I bought some burlap and then I went ahead and I cut it fishtail on both ends and then I went ahead and I ironed it that's the lantern that we did make together, guys. Now, if you guys haven't seen the video on when we made this lantern yesterday, go ahead and check out our video. It's in um, it's in our library of videos, and you guys will be able to see me make that lantern. These leaves right here, I picked these up at my local supermarket. Sorry, um, And these are real fall leaves these are real real leaves which i thought were gorgeous and i wanted to have a little bit of real and a little bit of fake in between and so um these are the flower picks we're going to use now these are leftovers from when we made the wreath another video guys if you guys haven't seen that video go ahead and check that video out as well and it's a wreath that we did for our door and these are the leftovers. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and just add in like little stuff here and there. I'm laying everything out. I'm not going to secure anything into any base because I don't want this to be a permanent 
arrangement. I want to be able to take all these flowers and I want to be able to go ahead and use these for a later date um, on a different project. And that's the reason why I decided that I did not want to make a permanent arrangement. So right here, all I'm doing is I'm just going to go ahead and start laying out the flowers in the little order that I feel you know, looks right. Um, there is no right or wrong way to do this, guys. I mean, you're just going to arrange the flowers however you want them to look. And I want it to kind of look like a spread, sort of, if that makes sense. Well, I mean, it makes sense in my little head, but <laughs> I don't know if it does. So I want to make it look like a spread. Like, I want it spread out on both sides of that lantern. And then we are going to add a few little elements in front of that lantern as well. So that's what you see me doing here. I mean, you know, to tell you the truth, guys, it's just really placing flowers and filling in with like little leaves and stuff. And it's just to give everything a pop of color. And it's just to kind of, you know, um, also fill in areas. So you will not be able to see that these flowers are not attached to anything or that there is no base in the bottom. And so this, what I'm doing to the very front right here where you guys could see, I'm doing the exact, exact same thing on the other side as well. I know you guys can't see it because of the lantern, the way I placed the camera, but this was probably the best area and the best angle that I was able to put this camera where you guys would be able to see my whole entire table. So, just bear with me guys, bear with me. Um, so, this is what you're going, to, you're going to see me do, is I'm just cutting a lot of the flowers. Now, I'm not cutting them onto, like, the very, very small part of the flower. I'm cutting off a little stem, so that if I have to use those flowers again, they have a little long stem, and I could go ahead and put those into an arrangement. Excuse me, my nose is running. Um... I was sick last week, but now I don't know what's going on. I have a runny nose. <laughs> so um, anyways, um, I'm going to go ahead and just cut a lot of these little flower picks and put them on the side because in my head, I kind of already know how I want this to kind of look, but I don't know where exactly these flowers are going to go. So I'm just going to fill it in guys just fill it in just go with your little heart's desire there is no right or wrong way like i said i mean you just keep going and keep adding and i'm going to make this pretty busy it's going to look like a really busy table on this main flower arrangement and i want it to look busy i want it to be full and luscious and very elegant looking and um i want it to you know, I want it to just take up most of the whole entire table. Now, when it's going to be time for us to have dinner, our Thanksgiving dinner, of course, I'm going to go ahead and remove everything here. And um, we're going to go ahead and replace the flower arrangement with a um, with all of the Thanksgiving dinner um, serving bowls and the turkey and all that good stuff. And so these are some little cotton balls that I picked up at Z Joann's. And they were on clearance, so I went ahead and I just grabbed these and I thought, well, I mean, you know, you can't really have a fall arrangement without a few little cottons in there because it's just, it just makes it look very organic. Now, this is a little, these are little pumpkins that I also picked up at my local dollar store, I mean, at my local market. And these little pumpkins are real. Now, the little tiny orange ones, those are fake. And those white ones are fake. But the other larger kind of orange pumpkins, those are all real. And I picked up about five of them. They were about 89 cents each. And I picked up five of them because I did want to have little pumpkins here and there. And I wanted to go ahead and fill it in with like little pumpkins and pears and squash. And, you know, like little kind of like little food so that um, it just all looks like a harvest fall arrangement. And then I'm also going to use some of these little fall leaves that I picked up at Z Michaels. You guys have seen me use these on our previous um, tutorials. These are also the same fall leaves that we use to make the napkin rings. That's another video. If you guys have not seen the napkin ring video, there is a napkin ring video. So go and check that out, my little crafty monsters, if you haven't already seen it. And so right here now, I'm just going to go ahead and add my candles inside my little lantern that we also made ourselves. And 
honestly, to tell you the truth, guys, I mean, this is really kind of how I wanted it to look. And it, it, it all came out really, really nice. And so now that we have the whole entire um, centerpiece put together, we're going to go ahead and start putting our table together. These little placemats, I've had them for a while um, because these are my placemats that are always on my table. And these ones, I picked them up at um, at Ross one year. And I think, I believe it was a pack of four. So I picked up two packs. And then these Gold Chasers, these Gold Chasers are from Z Michaels. <laughs> Excuse me. And um, they were on sale as well. It was a pack of six. And of course, I needed to buy two packs because I needed eight of them. <laughs> so I have some leftovers. These plates are from the Dollar Tree. And the Dollar Tree has these plates with a little gold ring on the edge, which I felt was perfect. I was going to Marshalls and Ross and looking for certain little plates that I wanted. I wanted kind of like some shimmery, glittery plates. But those were a little too expensive. They were about like four or five dollars a plate and I needed eight of them. So I was like, um, no, I, I'm sure that I could find something cheaper. So I went to my Dollar Tree and I ran into these and I was like, wow, these are perfect because they have a gold ring in them and it's just going to pull everything together. And then also, too, because they're white, they kind of stand out. And so now we're going to go ahead and arrange the little napkins with our homemade napkin rings. And I love my little napkin rings. I love the little saying on them. It says, together we make a family. And the reason why I did this is because the majority of my guests that are coming, my brother's coming, but, you know, the majority of the guests that will be here is going to be just friends that obviously their families don't do anything or their families are out of town and, you know, they're not around and stuff like that. And so I'm gathering everybody together. And I felt that that little sentiment was perfect for this occasion because together we do make a family. And so um, that's all I'm doing here. Now, those those little napkins, I also picked them up at Bath, Bed Bath & Beyond. And those were $9.99 for 12 of them. So this table is pretty inexpensive, guys. Like, you guys could make a table look so elegant and so nice. Like, for... A pretty good budget and so um, so now that we have these little um, name tags those name tags the placement tag um, cards we also have a video on those you guys if you guys haven't seen that video as well you guys definitely check that out everything that is on this table basically there is a video on how I made it. It was kind of like a little series of my Thanksgiving dinner. So I went ahead and I made all these videos. Now those placement cards I'm putting on the on the um, on the plate. Those I have to write the names. But this is it, guys. This is it. Welcome back, my little crafty monsters. That's how easy it was to make that little table. The tablescape or whatever they want to call it <laughs> to set it all up for Thanksgiving. That was super easy. We only used a lot of stuff from the Dollar Tree. We made our own stuff. We made our own napkin rings. We went ahead and we purchased the plates at the Dollar Tree. We purchased the um, chasers at Z Michaels when they were on clearance. We got the six pack for $4.99, which honestly, honestly, guys, that's unheard of because they usually sell those chasers um, individually and individually they're probably about like five bucks each so that was a steal right there we went ahead and we took advantage of that door buster sale and we went ahead and we purchased those um the placemats at ross and i had purchased those like probably about a year ago and i purchased those because my table originally i have a lot of gold stuff in that dining table anyway so um those were the permanent all year round placemats that are on that table. But since this year for Thanksgiving, I decided to add in a little bit of gold into that. I said, those are going to be super perfect. And I also wanted it to tie all the stuff around my decor of my dining table as well. So, so that's how easy it was, my little crafty monsters. See, you guys can make a beautiful, beautiful table on a budget. And all you have to do is just go to your local um, Dollar Tree. And then also hit your, like, Michaels and Zihobi Lobbies and even your Ross. Your Ross sometimes has some amazing, amazing placemats, amazing little um, dish sets. If you don't want to spend too much money on the dish set, go ahead and go to your Dollar Tree and 
get yourself a whole little set. I mean, it really depends on how many plates you're going to need. But for me, it was pretty easy because my table sits eight. And so all I had to do was get eight plates and eight little salad plates as well. And then we went ahead and we layered them like that. We made our little napkin rings. We purchased our napkin rings at Bed Bath & Beyond. And it was a 12-pack for $9.99, which was awesome because it's a pretty good quality of napkin. And that's all you really need, guys. And I mean, you are completely, completely set for any kind of dinner um, party that you may have or any like Thanksgiving dinner that you're setting up for or Christmas dinner or whatever it is that you guys are setting up for. I mean, that's how easy it was. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you. Don't forget to subscribe. Go ahead and hit that little icon. It's the picture of moi. And we become BFFFFFs because I know BFFs is good. I know it is, boo-boo, but BFFFF is even better, and I know you guys want to be my BFFFF, so go ahead and hit that little icon, and since you're already there, boo-boos, I mean seriously, boo-boos, you're already there, don't forget to hit that little thumbs up, because that thumbs up is really going to help our channel grow, and you guys, you, you know we want to grow, boo-boos, you know we want to grow, and also... Since you're already there, hit the little bell icon because that bell icon is going to notify you on your phone every time I upload a new content because you guys don't want to be behind. I mean, seriously, you guys don't want to be like, oh, I didn't know you loaded up this video. Of course you did it, boo-boo, because you didn't hit that bell icon. <laughs> but if you hit it, it will tell you, boo-boo. So hit it and share and tell a friend because your friends also need to know how fabulous these tutorials are and until next time my little crafty monsters goodbye oh oh happy thanksgiving my little crafty monsters i hope you guys' dinner is amazing and i hope you guys have a wonderful wonderful time if it's with your family or if it's with friends or if it's with whoever it is i hope you guys have an amazing amazing day on thanksgiving and i love all of you guys now we're gone Thank you.